Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Let's Play World of Tanks. Today I'm bringing you some IS-3 gameplays. I really, really had like, let's say, a month of pubs which were kept being wins, you know, with really, I kept kicking everybody's asses, so I'm <laughs> really, really happy about it. Anyways, today I would like to talk to you about a couple of subjects I had in mind. Um, some of them are what is my World of Tanks. Um, let's say plan goal. Other is, for example, which which um, sir will I keep playing on? Um, talk about a little about the clan I'm really I'm um, currently in and stuff like that. Anyways, um, let's start off with the server issue. So, anyways, um, <laughs> I did give another chance to the European server, but to be honest with you didn't really like it in there. I didn't really like it in there. So my answer to that is I'm gonna leave European server and I'm gonna just continue playing on the North American server. Now why is that? Um, it's just because s since I again joined back on the European server I I don't know I kept getting into you know let's say grumpy people you know <laughs> who can't really take advice who don't really know how to use their heads and stuff like that so I didn't really enjoy that you know. I did go and meet a couple of good guys there, but, you know, um, since I told you that I've, I've been playing a lot of tank companies, and a lot of tank companies, what I mean, <laughs> when I say a lot of tank companies, I mean only tank companies, you know, I started calling strategies, I, I'm a tank company commander, but, you know, when I started doing tank companies, I would just get annoyed on the European server. Um, like, a lot of them can't use their heads, you know, when playing, so... Well, you know, I'm not saying, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, like, every European player can... No, I'm not saying that at all, but... Let's say 75% of the players I play with, so, you know, I, I I can just get annoyed, so... That's... that's... Uh, so... <laughs> that's the reason why I'm leaving um, European server. Plus, I... I already have a well-established community on the North American server, which I really enjoy spending time with, you know, playing and, yeah, which is really relaxed, chilled, and that is the kind of environment I really enjoy being in, and European server, I just couldn't find a community which would, you know, suit me, so, yeah, th there's there's your answer, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm out of here, <laughs> I'm out of there. Anyways, um, <laughs> I really love these platoons, man. I've started platoon doing like a lot of three-man platoons, getting lucky shots over here, lucky non non damage shots <laughs> from behind. Anyways, a lot of playing a lot of platoons here. Enjoy, really enjoy playing with them, and we we keep getting like really really good games. Um, last yesterday, I think. I was platooning as well, and we got 13 straight wins in pubs. How the heck did I miss that? Yeah, the full reticle was on the tank. How the heck did I miss that? <laughs> Anyways, oh, those those are really good games. I'm really, really getting really good games lately. And good games where I actually do a lot, you know? I actually do a lot in a game, which really, really makes me feel proud of myself, <laughs> let's say it like that. Really getting better in this game, in my opinion. I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, another topic I would like to talk to you about is my clan, the Corpsegeist. Anyways, the clan which I joined, um, when did I join? Around, what was it? November? So that's three months ago. The clan was pretty much the clan, um, chilled clan. We played, did play a lot of medium TCs, took it serious, which I really, really enjoyed, you know. This clan introduced me to tank companies, and I really enjoy, enjoyed, you know. The ta the clan really, the we have great commanders, we have great, you know, people in it, great people, good players, and, you know, we teach each other, so that's, that's really something I was looking from the clan. And now, uh, from... From those three months, you know, since we played tank companies, we moved onto champion TCs and then onto absolute. And we actually, before North American North American Sir was introduced with the North American map on the global map, um, we actually did own land. We landed successfully in Africa. We're really proud about that because you know 
a tank which is um, a tank, a tank, um, a clan which is pretty pretty new, owning a map on world map, you know, is really something which makes us, you know, proud of ourselves. So that's really really cool. We're really really happy about that. <laughs> So now that North American server has been introduced with a North American map, uh, the US map, we actually are proud landowners again. First time we landed successfully, but then we got wiped out because I'm not really sure what happened. Um, but yeah, anyways, we landed again and we are landowners now. We landed again on the. I'm gonna actually bring you up the little map. Um, the little world map we actually landed on the bottom left side of the map if you can see and then we started expanding we currently have two two um how do you say two ah <laughs> how do you say two province there we go two provinces and as i said many times for a clan that just started out clan wars that is really really big achievement and everybody's just happy about it so i'm really enjoying in this, in this clan, even though I cannot really play Clan Wars because of the time zones, uh, but still the environment, the guys in the clan is really, really good. So I'm thinking about staying in the clan. You know, this clan is strict 18 plus. So if anybody is interested in joining and is not 18 plus, with good stats, you know, know how to use their head, <laughs> with yeah, drama free, you know, don't start any drama. Feel free to apply. We need some. We need some <laughs> need. We could use some clan war ready guys. So yeah, four thousand damage. That's just crazy, man. Crazy game. Play versus Havoc on our another team. They really gave us a great fight. Anyways, I'm gonna the replay is gonna end now. So I'm gonna just load up some battle results. We're gonna see how did we do. Anyways, so as you can see, we got thirty eight thousand credits with two thousand seven hundred experience which is crazy without premium with premium it would be a lot a lot more four thousand four thousand <laughs> experience and sixty thousand credits that ah, oh, i just i just sometimes feel like ah, oh, i just wish i had premium <laughs> as we got the really cool um achievement a cool achievement ah what am i saying we got steel wall <laughs> not nothing too cool <laughs> so yeah moving on to the next screenshot 1364 experience top in the team of course haha <laughs> showing off a little bit <laughs> and on the detail report we shot 19 shots and got 15 direct hits with 14 penetration now this is on the for the next subject I would like to talk about which is actually improving my gameplay you know um, I really like to well this is this is what I can actually do but is something which actually actually stuck with me from the previous you know from the European server when I didn't really know how to play properly so I really start need to start you know um, hitting every target not taking blind shots and stuff like that lost 1000 credits just because I was shooting gold and yeah which is kinda annoying you know <laughs> got a really good game and still lost credits shot like eight gold shells and that's about it anyways moving on to the next replay is we're back with another is3 replay and looking by the stats we're not by stats but by <laughs> matchup we're up against two tier nines which is not that strange for the is3 I get you get pretty much you know you can uh, get up to tier 10 match, so yeah, this is not a big problem. Anyways, though, that type T95 is kind of scary. I'm not really too concerned about the medium. You can I can pen him easily, with either with a normal shell or or go all around. But that T95 is really really scary. So I'm gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. Anyways, um, right, moving on to the another topic I wanted to talk to you about. So, the gameplay. Not really the gameplay, but my goals in World of Tanks. Anyways, um, this is the replay, <laughs> which will be part of the topic I wanted to talk to you about. The thing which I had in mind was actually eliting, eliting, and yeah, eliting the every tank I have 
and have owned before in my in the world of tanks you know that is one of the goals which I'll really really like to do and another of them is to actually maybe complete one one tree line even though that's a huge um, huge project that's really you know I started out recently I started out in November um, beginning of the November so that <laughs> it will be like you know a huge huge project Anyways, right, eliting every tank I played. I didn't play too mu too many tanks, but you know, still. Um have loads of lower tanks. Ah, I'm taking on the damage over here. I'm trying to pick that tier eight, actually tier nine um guy, but already showed up. Bam! Gonna take him out. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I have a couple of not a couple of but a lot of lower tier tanks which I really, really sucked with, you know? sucked with um hated them <laughs> I hated them I don't wish to play with them anymore so I just you know rushed them and didn't want to you know play with them all at all so those things I want to elite I would like to actually get as well mastery badges on every tank that is also one of the goals I will have and I want to get so yeah um as I said this is the replay which is a part of the goal so yeah let me I'll Right now, you gotta see this great work. Um, playing with Hartik here, gonna take out the tier 9 TD. Bam, he's down. Now, there's a uh, AMX 1390. Um, trying to 1v2. Really bad decision. He's reloading right now. I'm really <laughs> lucky about it. We're gonna squeeze him over here and start shooting. Now, I'm, sure I'm taking some damage from this IS 3, so I'm trying to line up. Um, for a good angle, so I don't take any shots. Bam! Never mind. 10 HP. 10 HP <laughs> cannot ram this AMX. I'm gonna take damage. Damn! Lucky, lucky bounce. Lucky bounce from that um, AMX. Anyways, Hart is gonna take a couple of shots for me. I'm gonna use him as my bodyguard. I'm gonna nail that IS-3. Hopefully, I'm gonna nail. It. No. Anyways, we're gonna try to 1v2 that IS-3. Hart is gonna go first, as he's the top. Uh, good guy with the HP. The IS-3 took a shell. I'm gonna try to squeeze him before in Hartig. Hartig's too fat, cannot go through. <laughs> and the IS-3 is trying to fall back behind the building there. And he's, I'm careful here not to take any shots from the IS-3. Hartig nailed him really good. The IS-3 took a shot and I'm gonna nail him right now. Boom! 425 damage. Really, really good. And the IS-3 is one shot right now. The Har Hartig missed a shot. I'm really, really looking not to take any damage. Uh, and bam, good, just in time <laughs> because he would probably kill me there. Anyways, T95, the the main threat of the other team, with Tiger 2, which just got nailed, and the KV3 on the other side. Um, nothing we cannot take care of. Um, the T95 just nailed the T29. Our team is getting killed there, but. Still, we can win this easily. Now, Hartig and I just decided Hartig and... I forgot the other player. Who is Oro? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I had it in mind, but I didn't say Oro with the IS here. Trying to... This was the week when, when the IS is actually made 100% or 70% increased credit. So, he was just playing with us. <laughs> we decided to actually skip the cap and actually go for the T95 and the KV3. So I'm trying to peek out on the T95. Bam! Nice shot because the T95 wasn't aiming at the. Uh, he he's actually going behind the, going to the stick stick next to the wall, so he doesn't get flanked. Good decision, I guess. Kill the KV3. Need last kill. Need last kill for the top gun, and I want 10 HP. Versus the T95. Right. <laughs> Asking people to get top gun. The Pershing got nasty shot, 656 damage, if I'm not mistaken. Bam, nailed the T95, and I'm, I'm, I did not realize I had 10 HP, and I rammed him. Look at my HP, I am <laughs> stuck on 1 HP. Now the T95 is really trying hard to, to rotate and to actually kill me, but he cannot. I'm, I haven't been down here and nailed another nasty shot. Now the T95. <laughs> 
He's pretty much screwed here. He's pretty much screwed here. He cannot move. Actually, he he can because he's quite massive, but he will not be able to get me. He nails the Pershing, and now it's me, the whole platoon, actually. Hartik, the Oro, and me. And SU-14 versus T-95. I hit him, and he's one shot. And I'm really trying to, you know, I'm telling my clamants, leave me, leave me the top gun so <laughs> I can get the top gun on the I-3, my first top gun. I told him to actually block the SU-14, BAM! Nothing, nothing, no damage. I told him to block the SU-14 so he doesn't get the last kill. Uh, who is over there? Let me just see, that's the... Hartik is on the G2 and Oro is on H2. BAM! Another shot, nailed him pretty good. The t 5 is left with 28 HP. Now, <laughs> it's not gonna be something really annoying. I told Oro to actually block the RT there, so he doesn't get a shot. BAM! Another penetration, no damage. No damage. I guess the T95 has a really good spaced arm over there. Oro is trying to push up the super pushing so he can actually jam the T95. <laughs> and another guy, BAM! Zero, zero damage! Really good spaced armor, I guess, that T95 has on the sides. I should've, like... Uh, killed them already. <laughs> Guys are just raging on the chat. <laughs> really fun. <laughs> Another shot. Zero damage. So I just said, ah, screw that. I'm gonna load gold. And I'm just loading gold here. Now the art is trying to go and kill him. I told Oro to, you know, try to block him. I was trying to aim for the commander hutch, but I see somebody bounced already. And bam! Finally got the D95. A really, really fun game I really enjoyed playing this game and let's just check out the game results anyways here we are as you can see I got Top Gun Sniper Spartan and Mastery Mage Ace Tanker and I was just wondering when will I get this Ace Tanker on my S3 I was, I was really happy when I got it 2000 credits um, 2000 experience it was with a premium I think I got that premium yeah the, the premium was for Valentine's if I'm not mistaken um, Valentine's premium. I think you can still redeem it. I'm not quite sure. The code was um, Anthem. Ah, never mind. Don't mind that. 2,000 um, experience, 53,000 credits. Really, really good for me. Anyways, moving on to the team score. Top EXP, 1,377 experience and got three, of course, um, achievements. Top experience. Ah, I gotta just say that again. <laughs> really good to could work with a platoon. Anyways, moving on to the detailed re report. 19 shots fired, 18 direct hits and 14 penetration just because of the T95 who kept kept taking no damage. Anyways, um made 18,000 credits with this game and uh, that was a really really good game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little let's play and yeah, uh, another thing I wanted to ask you, would you like to see real um, how it's called? It's called li live gameplay. That's right. Would you like to see any live gameplay? I've I've been recording and I got a couple of really really fun replays. Um, not replays, but recordings of of battles. So tell me in the comments if you would like to see any of these. Anyways, um, that's about it for this video. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. And I'm gonna see you next time, guys. Take care.